Take a look at this interesting sticky scroll effect I have here. So when you're scrolling, the second card overlaps the first card, the third overlaps the second and first. This demo was actually inspired by Atasi Esther's website. She's a product designer. I was exploring her website a couple of days ago and then I found this interesting testimonial section here. And you can see the same sticky scroll effect that we have here. And when I come across things like this, you trust me to try them out myself because this is the best way to learn. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I did this with just HTML and CSS. This all will be starting with here on the right, I have the cards and this is a normal scroll, nothing sticky, nothing interesting. The HTML part here, I have a div with the class of container, then I have a div with the class of card and I have like five of this. This is the second, the third and the fourth and fifth are below. And in each card, I have H2 with the class of name, span with the class of founder and P with the class of testimony. And for the CSS, we have some basic styles here. I have this for the body, have this for the container, position relative width 100% so that it fills the width of the screen. And then for each card, I have a max width of 400 pixels. And then I declare some styles here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to specify a height for this container. This will enable the sticky effect to work as we will soon see. I can specify a height of 650 pixels. And then I specify an overflow Y of auto so that the Y axis can be scrollable if there are elements that exceed the height. This is also important for the sticky effect to work and we'll soon see that. If we come here now and refresh, now we have our container with a scrollable Y axis. <laughs> now for this card to stick, this is how we're going to use position sticky. And then we're going to define at what point should it stick. So it should stick when the top position is zero pixels. Now when you come here, this is the first card. It's currently zero pixels with the container. Let me add a border here so you can see this. Let's just say one pixels bullet, solid green <laughs> bullet. So now when you scroll, you can see the first card has a top of zero. So it sticks to the top of the container. The second card is scrolling. When it gets to that top of zero, it sticks also. The third card sticks also. The fourth card sticks and the fifth card sticks. Well, the fifth card doesn't stick because we've already got into the end of the container. Now let me show you why I said this overflow Y02 and the height is important. Now when you have a height, if you don't have overflow Y02, you can see that the cards are sticking to the top of the screen. If you keep going, you see the, the second card, does it stick? Does the third card stick? Well, it has a weird behavior. That is because this sticky property would work with the nearest scrollable parent which in this case is the body so that's why we have to put overflow y auto so that this sticky can now respect this container as the scrollable parent so if we come back here okay now we have this now one interesting thing we can do is to add a box shadow and here what i'm doing is i'm applying a box shadow to the top of the card by using a negative five pixels on the y axis and i'm applying another box shadow on the bottom of the card using a positive five pixels on the y axis now you can see this second card has this box shadow here it also has the box shadow on the bottom and the third one also has box shadow the fourth one the fifth one has box shadow now one more thing i want to do is that for the first card i want it to stick when the top is zero but for the second card using end child 2, I want it to stick when the top has a position of 20 pixels. And I'm going to do this also for the remaining three cards by copy pasting. So for the third card, I want this to stick at 40 pixels. For the fourth card, I want this to stick at 60 pixels. And for the fifth card, I want this to stick at the top of 80 pixels. Now, when we come here, the first card sticks at top zero because this is what we have here. Now, the second card would stick at top 20 pixels. Third card will stick at top 40 pixels. Fourth card will stick at top 60 pixels. And the fifth card would stick at top, top what again? top 80 pixels and now i can remove my border one pixel solid green now we have this nice card effect just as esther has over here of course esther is probably doing some extra stuff but i hope this simple demo shows you how to do this and also teaches you one or two css tips if you'd love to see the code for this demo it's on my website deco.com slash css demos i'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out please give this video a like if you enjoyed it share with others and also subscribe for more css tutorials like this one